Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and what's up? Hey everybody, I'm Naturally Stacy, and welcome back to my channel. To all of my existing subscribers, to all my new subscribers, hello, sit down, get a drink, get a snack, and welcome to my Get Ready With Me <laughs> video. I don't do these very often, as you all know, I don't do makeup videos a lot because, um, well, I just don't. I don't do a lot of makeup. So, um, right now, it is, what time is it? It is 3.51, I have to be ready at 5 30 i think that's what she said <laughs> and uh, i gotta do my makeup so i'm gonna take you guys along this ride of me doing my makeup and everything um and i'll tell you why and where i'm going but first let's do something about these lips okay <laughs> let's just get right to it i'm not even gonna like waste time and go through a bunch of stuff because um i have to move fairly fairly fast so um I'm going to put some Agua 4 on my lips because I can't have no dry, crusty lips for this day. Um, let's see. This day is, this weekend is a huge weekend. Um, I got a new mirror right here. Um, tell y'all about that in a second. This weekend is a huge weekend in my family. I'm just going to flat out. I'm just going to start it with that. And I hope you guys like my new lens with the blurry background. You guys can still make out Prince's, um, pr the Prince album behind me. So, And of course, and I'll, there's a reason why I have the Prince album up again. I think I've used that album before. But anyway, uh, this is a huge weekend in, in my family. Today is Sunday. And um, the, let's see, we're going to prime with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Just in my T-zone to kind of, you know, about these daggone pores. I got pores, y'all. I done got some pores. Lord Jesus. Anyway, this is a huge weekend in my family. Um, this is a double graduation weekend. We've done we did we had another double graduation weekend about four years back. And we're doing it again. This time it's even bigger. We start off the weekend with my sister. My oldest sister Donna, her birthday was on Friday and also her youngest daughter, who is my next to youngest niece, her, she graduated college, um, Malia. And that is a huge thing in my family. She is the first of my mother's grandchildren to graduate college. So that was huge. That is like come really, really huge for us. And we are so, so proud of her. Good job, Malia. You did it. You did. You did good, girl. And you look good in your pictures. And um, next, I'm going to prime the rest of my face with my NYX. What is this? This is the first base primer. I'm going to put this all over the rest of my face while that's drying. Um, so she graduated from college up in Denver. Well, Colorado Springs, actually. That's where she attended college. My hair is not fully dry, so excuse some of the stuff you're going to see. And she graduated college on Friday. Saturday was her big sister, which is my sister Donna's middle daughter, Mackenzie, her birthday. So it was a um, crazy, crazy weekend in Denver. So you had a graduation Friday. You had a birthday on Saturday. And then you bring it back here to St. Louis, and today is my youngest niece's graduation. She is the last of my mother's grandchildren, and she is actually graduating from high school. Um, it is Liliana. You guys met Liliana in the um, sunglass video, and there she is right here. And um, yeah, this is this is monumental. This is it. This is my mom's last. We, there are no more grandchildren. My mom's not having any more grandchildren because that would be me to have children. And her grandcat opted not to go to high school. She wants to. She wanted to stay home. So you know, we have no more. Um, <laughs> there's no more graduation. So we're all done. So we um, today is the day, and her. Graduation happens to fall on the series finale of Game of Thrones. I'm kind of surprised I was able to say all of that and not cry because it is, we've all been slightly emotional all weekend about all of this. And um, 
because this is, like I said, this is monumental. Um, I am going to do my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Duo. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Brow Powder Duo and Chocolate. Everything is going to be listed below. If I don't mention it, everything is below. I'm pretty much going to do the same makeup look I do that you see in all my videos. I'm not going to do anything any different. So I'm, I'm, I just don't have time to do anything different. Plus, I have homework to finish up. But like I said, today is the um, series finale of Game of Thrones. Yes, I do watch Game of Thrones. And this is going to be really, you know. So I cannot be on the internet at all tonight which is fine Reginald me and Reginald we're just gonna watch it when we come back from the graduation so but anyway uh like I was saying this is like I said this is a huge weekend for our family you know um my nieces both um doing big things um my niece Malia I believe she's gonna go into grad school uh, which is really cool and I'm loving every minute of that I'm I'm so I'm just uber proud of both of these girls and all they've accomplished in um in their time in school and um unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to show any footage of the graduation um I will be recording but I am not um I did not get permission to show footage um, so, but I will, um, I am, I have gotten permission to show pictures of the, of at least one of the graduates by the time I'm recording. I just have to get in touch with Malia. Hopefully she'll okay it, which I think she will. Cause she likes me. I think she likes me. Okay. Brows are done. I don't do a lot of all that extra stuff with my brows. Cause well, my brows don't look too bad. Anyway. That's all done. Um, let's go to, I, I got two, I got a long table in front of me full of stuff. This, all right, let's go ahead and let's get, I do my eyes first. You all know that. So anyway, back to this weekend being huge for the fam. It is really, really, really huge for us. And we are all, like I said, we're all proud of everybody and one of, we're happy to see everybody succeed. The next sets of graduations is actually going to be my sister Donna. I believe she is the next, she is the first one in this line, in this round to graduate. I believe I am second to go. And then um, Lisa, then Pam. Uh, for eyeshadow, I am going with the Karuchi Color Pop Brown Sugar Palette. I'm sorry, Karuchi Times Color Pop. Uh, brown sugar palette. I don't do a lot with this palette, and I love this palette. It's a really, really nice palette. I'm gonna do that for you so you don't see the mess. This room is a tornado. The uh, first color I'm gonna use is this one right here. This is Jamocha. I think it's Jamocha. Jamocha. Yeah, that's right. It's Jamocha. Anyway, so we are. Um, her graduation is at seven. 30 in the evening that is why I'm going to be missing uh, Game of Thrones like I said I'm going to be watching it when we get back me and Reginald we can actually stay up late because he is actually off work tomorrow and I am also off work tomorrow uh, a couple of my co-workers were like oh the reason why you're taking off is to watch Game of Thrones and I was like no I wish but no um, I'm taking off because her graduation is hella late <laughs> We probably not getting out of there till I don't know, God knows when. So um, next color I'm going to use is, uh, I'm going to put a little swirl right here on the um, outer corner right here. Just a little. I'm going to do a little experimentation. I'm keeping the same brush because I don't feel like trying to do a whole lot. Like I said, I wasn't really going to do a whole, whole lot because, well, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> like I said. But anyway, um, so who you think, who you think will get that throne? Well, by the time this, by the time this video posts, we'll all know. And there'll probably be some disappointed people and some happy people. Personally, I'm hoping to see Arya do some damage because that's what Arya does. She does damage. So, um, we'll see how that goes with that. Anyway, back to what I was um, 
but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I am using the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Facial Wipes to uh, kind of clean off my brushes. Um, I've been testing those wipes out because normally I use um, the Neutrogena wipes, which I still do use them. I just um, I want to I want to try the Shea Moisture. Um, I want to try the Shea Moisture um, products just to see what what they were about. Ooh, I gotta clean that up. I'll do that in a minute. Okay. I normally use Auburn, but depending on what I'm wearing, oh, I am having a dilemma on what I'm wearing also. So I'm going to talk about that here in a second. I'm going to go with the color ginger, which is right here. And I'm going to put that all over my entire lid space. Oh, okay. Okay, I can do this. Anyway, I'm having a bit of a wardrobe dilemma. Um... I have a um I have a dress I bought from Target last year um that I pulled and it it still it fits I didn't gain that much weight thank God uh since last year to mess it up so I'm debating on wearing that dress but then I have an outfit I recently bought from H&M that I'm thinking about wearing instead for um, this. Because um, there's a breeze outside right now and I don't like being cold. I am not a fan of being cold. The dress is sleeveless and it's really pretty. It is a pretty brown. It looks like a trench coat dress. Yes try to clean this up real quick looks like a trench coat it's really nice but like I said I don't like to be cold that is not my thing it is not my thing I hate being cold so we'll see how I'm feeling and I'm just you know trying to be you know trying to uh figure out what to do and what I'm going to wear. So let's see, let's see. I'm pulling things out of my small, my travel makeup bag, which I'm probably, I need to pare down. I talked about that last week a little bit about paring down my makeup bag. Uh, let's see. Eyeliner. I think this is NYX eyeliner. So I'm going to line my eyes real quick. If I dip off camera, that's because, well, I'm got the mirror in front of me. Oh, it actually it actually works hey finally anyway I have some mornings I'll do my eyeliner and I'm like what am I doing anyway so uh we're gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara I've had this stuff for a while and my of course my makeup brushes are dirty because I use them need to clean them but I haven't had a moment to clean them I'm off tomorrow like I said so I'm probably gonna clean them tomorrow while I'm home but knowing me I'm probably gonna do some overtime while I'm chilling here and do homework because I'm gonna try to get my homework done early hopefully I don't turn in this week's homework late that is not something I like to do I hate turning in my homework late anyway so we got that done now it's time for lashes. okay lashes have been applied off camera of course every time I film Doing lashes always ends up being a struggle. So I was not, that, that was probably a good 10 minutes of struggle, but with some straight struggle bus. So we're not even going to get into all of that. Let's go to foundation. Uh, for foundation, I use the NARS Sheer Glow in Sahel, Shahel. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I just put this stuff on. Um... I know I haven't talked about this foundation on my channel yet and I am, I don't know about it. I think, I don't think this is a foundation. Oh my God. I think my lashes, no, it's on. It's just, my eyes are shaped different. So lash, lash on one side is different than the lash on the other. And it's kind of on the annoying side. So anyway. 
Okay. I'm just using one pump. I'm not even using a whole, I'm not, for a while I was using two pumps and I realized two pumps was too much. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Okay. I only use one pump of foundation because I don't need too much to cover my face cool. And I used to put part a dollop on my, um, I used to put one, uh, like a piece on my nose, but then I started to real notice that my nose was starting to look real crazy. So I just stopped doing that. So here I eels doing it this way. I have to move my hair. I forgot. I didn't, I have a headband I'm only put on, but I didn't put it on cause my hair is not fully dry. A good mirror makes a difference. I'm seeing things and I'm just going to have to let it go because <laughs> I'm not, I don't have time to pluck. <laughs> I don't have time. I seriously don't have time. Anyway, um, let's finish up the eyes and we're going to do my uh, double concealer. The 25 and 20 of both of Maybelline Fit Me. I dot that under my eyes. Um, I think I talked about this before with my... Um, makeup I don't set under my eyes I don't do all that baking that's for young folks that don't have lines under their eyes I do so uh yeah my lovely face goes the way it goes so let's see like I said this is a I'm kind of all over the place with what I'm talking about right now because I have a lot my mind is in like seven or eight different directions trying to get everything figured out and what all I'm doing. So, um, try not to make the face, but I have to make the face. And I'm actually getting ready early. Cause well, doing my makeup portion early, because what I'm going to do is when I get done with my makeup, I've already showered. As you see, my hair is done. Um, what I'm going to do is I get on my homework. So when I walk out, I just come home, take my makeup off. We watch Game of Thrones and we find out who gets the Iron Throne. Um, for a while, I wanted it to be Daenerys. Oh, Lord, girl. Last week, Daenerys, girl. Whew. She just. But if you've watched the show from all the way from the beginning, this is all. What happened last week for sh was a foreshadow, basically. What happened in the last episode, if it was a foreshadow, we knew she was going to do this. It, this was, you know, and really, Instagram, it's funny how, Insta how people on Instagram are like, oh my God, I can't believe she did that. And I'm like, no, if you watch the show, you should realize she was going to do it anyway. And she wanted Cersei's butt. And who could blame her? If you guys heard that noise, it was my, my air on right now. So my air was on. And I've got to shut it off. But oh well, we're just gonna let we just gonna keep it going. Okay, we're gonna keep this going. Anyway, um I'm going back in with the same colors that I use, uh Jamocha and Sw Sorrel, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorrel. Sorrel. Put that on the corner here. And then I'm going to take my brush that I used earlier and come in the corner with ginger. Just a little. There we go. Okay. That's cool. There we go. All right. There we go. Hmm. All righty. Now we got to do our lower lashes. But first I'm going to clean off my brush a little. It's a thing I do. I even do this early in the morning. It's kind of clean off the excess on my brush. 
so it's not so they're not so so bad but they're still dirty i mean you know uh for my bottom lash line i use the l'oreal telescopic lash um it's funny how beat up everything looks <laughs> i've been using this stuff for a while okay i've been using this for a good while but this actually kind of this weekend has kind of made me think about my own um high school graduation and um everything that day the day of my high school graduation was um probably it was slightly chaotic because i didn't go get my hair done i should have went and got my hair done i didn't make an appointment to get my hair done. It rained. I had to go buy shoes because I didn't have shoes to go with my dress. Um, what else? I think Lisa, my sister Lisa did my hair. I think I can't remember that. Uh, to get to the venue was like crazy. Um, two of my nieces and my nephew was with us. They got to watch me walk. Uh, my grandfather came on my mom's side and my dad and one of my cousins was there. Um, it was, it was one of those moments. I was happy that I was done. And, um, my graduating class was a class. My graduating class was a class of 640 people. Um, it was a lot. It was a, and it was a bit of a long night too. Um, the good thing is they broke us up. A through L, M through Z. So we had to, you know, march out and all of that. And I remember running in to the venue and had all my stuff on. And one girl that I graduated with, she did not have on. Um, for bronzer, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown bronzer in the color natural. Um, she was sitting outside and I was like, you know, me and her, we weren't like BFFs anymore we actually used to be kind of good friends in school but you know we weren't like you know anyway I'm not even gonna get in that that was stupid but um I remember her sitting outside and she couldn't um she was waiting on her mom to come back with her cap and gown it I remember that it was so crazy because I was like oh my god I would be I would lose it and where our graduation was was probably like almost an hour away from my house and I never been to Queenie Park and if you're from St. Louis you know where Queenie Park is it's out in West County and I lived in Central West End at the time so it was probably like a good 45 minutes to an hour probably from where we lived so it was it was a ride to get out there so um that was, and then I remember, I remember bits and pieces. I remember them calling my name because my name, <laughs> my last name is very, is complicated to say. It's a German last name as far as I'm going to go with that. Uh, for blush, I am using NARS Orgasm. And um, it making sure they say my whole name too was really because it, it was a big deal to me I wanted my middle name said and I wanted my my name I wanted my whole name said that's what I forgot to do moisturizer oh well I don't moisturize my face before makeup very much because I noticed moisturizer does not um I don't know it makes my makeup slide and I learned that from Sir John who was uh, Beyonce's makeup artist he doesn't put moisturizer under her um makeup so that's how our makeup lasts a long time and I was like oh I'm gonna do what Beyonce do uh for highlighter albatross which is my winter highlighter and it's, it is time to change highlighters um I just haven't figured out which one I'm gonna run to yet so anyway I do remember my high school graduation it was like a, it wasn't chaotic to say the least, it was just a lot going on. So, you know, today, uh, oh, forgot to turn my phone off. I'm getting uh, notifications from this week's video, as in it was last week for you. Um, I'm sorry, um, week before for you, which was the um, handbag reveal, my new Marc Jacobs handbag that I um, 
Barton. I thank you guys for all the love on that video. And um, do that. So let me go ahead and hit that big fan real quick. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 pat. Pet, 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 pet. There we go. We're all done there. So, um, now my next graduation, our, my high school graduation was, um, a bit chaotic. My, um, first college graduation was very quiet. Um, cause I graduated, it was a small class. I went to a very, very, very small college. Um, now they've gotten bigger since I've left, which is good. I'm glad for them. So now, um, now I'm in an even bigger school and this graduation, uh, my college, our graduation was, um, last weekend or two weeks ago and they streamed it. I didn't watch it because I knew I was probably going to cry, even though I didn't know anybody in the graduation class, the graduating class. I knew I was probably going to cry because I'm going to be doing that. Um, I graduate next year. As of right now, I graduate next year as of right now. Um, long as everything works and I pass all the rest of my classes, I graduate next year for my lips. I'll be back. Okay. For my lips, we are going with Moody Blooms from the spring collection of color pop from the, um, this is one of their, uh, Lux lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the Agua for. I love putting Agua 4 on like right after I wake up. I just realized the one thing I did not have with me is a bottle of water. <sighs> Make sure I uh, hydrate because this is going to be a long night. So <laughs> I have to do something stupid. Okay, this side always looks weird because it looks like I overdraw my lip, but I don't. Because when I pull back, it's like a slight overdraw. It's not like full overdraw, it's a slight overdraw. Oh, the setting spray, Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh. Am I supposed to shake this? I can't remember. <laughs> and I'm all done. All right. Um, that's it. I'm going to go get dressed and, um, I'll see you guys in probably a few hours. I'm going to, by the time y'all see me next, the makeup's going to be set. <laughs> and I'm actually going to shoot the lat, the ending on my phone. Cause well, I have to take this memory card out and put in a new memory card for the recording because like I said, I am actually recording the um, graduation for my sister so she can have her pros prosperity? Prosperity, I was about to say prosperity. <laughs> Man, this has been a long day. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Hey guys, all right. Um, I know I did not do a proper ending to the video because, well, we were in a bit of a hurry to get out so we can drop Liliana off and then go get my mom and everything. But um, to let you guys know, the graduation was beautiful. She, Liliana did great. She looked great. Um, did a little crying. Just a, smidge, just a smidge of crying. But everything went good. Um, Game of Thrones, we ended up watching when we got back. And, well, hmm, we're not even going to talk about that. I'm okay with it that's all i'm gonna say but um that's really it i'm gonna close the video out now so if you guys have any questions for me talk to me below and um all my social medias are linked below i didn't put them in in the video i just realized that so maybe i'll throw them in and that's about all um that's it love peace hair products makeup and all that crap bye <laughs>